this PlayStation cup I got. Coffee cup. Oh, shit, that slide coffee in it. Oh. Alright there, guys. Ash BFC here. Just for a chat. Just for, you know, some gaming chat. Let's talk about some gaming stuff. You know, because I figured... It's been quite a while since I've done one of these videos. Quite a long while. I mean, you may or may not remember I used to do the weekly ramble. It was the Ash BFC Gamer News. It was the same thing. I can't remember what came first or whatever. They were kind of the same thing where I think I did it every week, every Friday or Saturday, and I'd just be talking about the latest going on in games and blah, blah, blah. And they're always fun to do, but it's just kind of hard to do now. You know, regularly every week these days. I ain't so young anymore. And, you know, mailing me job and stuff, it's, I can't really, you know, do stuff like that. Like a regular weekly thing, it's really hard. I don't work a typical 9 to 5 shift, that never helps. And, you know, working 12 hour shifts never helps. But, uh, you know, I could do one now, this is a quick easy setup. You know, you got some shite green screen going on and just use OBS and the webcam. It's, it's actually a lot easier to do, I should have thought about doing this, um earlier so anyway some red bull perfect time to be drinking red bull half past six at night i'm up tomorrow for another 12 hour shift at half past four so probably won't sleep and then i'll be fucking grumpy all day tomorrow i'm an idiot so anyway yeah let's um let's talk about some uh, some of the goings on and yeah this is a picture in the background of the deku tree from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time may or may not be a hint to something may or may not be so could just be a random picture I decided to put up there I don't know but anyway um, I actually wanted to do uh, one of these videos a few weeks back when Anthem launched because I just wanted to come on first of all just take a shit all over EA because I enjoy it it's therapeutic because fuck EA and two, just to sort of say I told you so to all the people that were hyping up Anthem and wouldn't listen to anyone's all the hate or anything like that. They just, oh, these people never learn, do they? So, but I didn't do it in the end, but I, here I am saying it now. Told you so. I don't. But anyway, that ship sails, let's move on. Actually, speaking of that, oh no, we'll get to that in a minute. So, first off, I want to talk about gaming magazines, right? Gaming magazines. I randomly just decided to get some after years and years of not having gaming magazines, right? Let me just get them all here. Oh, this is a fucking shambles. I mean, this is a completely winged video here, no fucking whatever. Just switch the camera on and start talking and this is, you know, this is the results. Fucking hell, so much shit. What's all this shite here? My god. Fucking hell. Jesus. <laughs> right, yeah, okay, I got um PlayStation magazine, right? And Edge magazine from January to Yeah, January to March for Edge and January to April for PlayStation. I don't know why I just decided to buy these. Probably maybe just a trip down memory lane, but Yeah, here's one of them. That's the latest issue of PlayStation magazine. And then really shouldn't be showing stuff when I've got green. The green screen looks absolutely terrible, but I am using an old webcam. So I could just turn it off really, but whatever. Um, so yeah, Edge Magazine. Oh. Shenmue. Yeah, so I just got these random looks. I was just thinking... I was actually thinking, do they still make magaz gaming magazines? I thought, you know, was, or is that something, you know, another thing the internet's killed off? the digital age, but no, they still exist, I know Nintendo stopped a long while ago, probably some others have stopped as well, but no, they're still making them, Xbox is still doing them, PlayStation, uh, Edge Magazine, uh, this PC Gamer, maybe some others as well, so I was very surprised actually, but there's no doubt about it, the, the days are numbered, aren't they, on magazines, these things will be going soon, sadly, god damn it internet, you have to kill everything, don't you, huh, I still miss blockbusters, I really do. But yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd get them, because the last magazines I got was Xbox 360, about, probably about 2007, and I stopped getting them. But I used to get original PlayStation magazine for PS1 when I was a little kid, and Nintendo magazine was my favourite, and then 
basically get someone on official magazines and it was possibly may have even been pc gamer i don't know how long that's been around but i used to get pc um gaming magazines i loved them nintendo was always my favorite but i did like playstation magazine as well and uh yeah i just randomly decided just to get some magazines so edge magazine right you know we'll get this one it shows up slightly better on playstation edge magazine i've only read one issue so far and it's okay, I just don't really like the layout of it. It seems like it's trying to be really professional and takes itself a bit too seriously. I like daft stuff. I want to feel like a kid when I'm reading these, like I did back in the day. But it's not that interesting. I don't like the layout of it. The text's so friggin' small. you got to have good eyesight. I mean, I, I have 20... Well, I had 20-20 vision as I'm getting older now. I think it's going. Uh, well, I think I was 80 the way I thought, but... PlayStation Magazine, that's a lot better. That's a much nicer layout. That's not too bad. I don't think I'll bother with any more Edge magazine. Not this any of you like Edge magazine, but it's just not for me. But I don't know, I might not get any more whatsoever. I just, I was just curious, you know. So, yeah, some PlayStation magazines and Edge magazine, and yeah. So, I, I wish Nintendo still did magazines. I miss Nintendo and their magazines. I stopped getting them at some point during the GameCube. Never got any for the Wii, because I was never ever a fan of the Wii. And when did they stop, actually? Were they still making them? Well, I don't know. Anyway, I've talked about magazines for too long. That was only meant to be a very brief thing. So, um... What else? Okay, yeah, so, uh, some game releases. So, um, Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, is out now. The latest game from... From software, you know, the guys who do uh, Dark Souls and Bloodborne, and they've been doing games for ages actually, back to the mid 90s. I did a quick little video on it, and it's uh, it's really, really good. It's like it is sort of Souls meets Tenchu, you know, you're playing as a Shinobi ninja, um, Feudal Japan setting, but there is sort of that Souls DNA in there, although at the same time, it's still a little bit different, which is good. But yeah, it's brutally hard. Um, I've been dying again and again and again and again. But that's what they're all about, you know. Uh, I like them. They're challenging. And when you do beat them, you know, it's just it's very satisfying. There's a real... There's much more sense of accomplishment when you finally get through a super hard game than just breezing through an easy game. So that's why they do stand out for me in, you know, today's games of just all the hand-holding. You know, games... I find a lot of games insulting now with how easy they are and how they just hold your hand and guide you through the game. And I'm just like, fuck off. You know, they annoy me sometimes tutorials in your face all the time even ones to tell you how to move forward it's a like, come on I'm not an idiot well I am but you know whatever but um yeah it's really good uh, really good game um thoroughly enjoying it and it's come out to very good reviews definitely worth checking out but it's funny though because I got it on PC so I was looking at the Steam forums and uh, obviously a lot of people appreciating the game and stuff and blah blah and of course there's always those whinging that um, I've got a crap computer and the game won't work. Uh, they're pissed off because they can't run it on the toss. So that's always hilarious. But uh, there's people crying as well because of difficulty. Saying, you know, hating on the games. Ah, oh, this game's bullshit. This game's unplayable. You know, it's too hard. Where's the, you know, <laughs> it's no fun dying over and over again. Where's the difficulty options? And I was like, oh, really? Come on, that's, that's what these games are meant to be. They're meant to be hard. You know, they're not, they're not games, you know, with mass appeal. You know, they're four ga gamers that like that sort of stuff. You know, there shouldn't be a difficulty. That's the way they are. You can't handle it, then tough shit. Stop crying about it. And it's like, what were they expecting? You know, and, I mean, they are hard. You know, from software games are hard, but I mean, go back and play some NES games and tell me how hard the Souls games are and, you know, Sekiro. Like, they were mean. They were cruel, the NES games back in the day. Like, the developers were sick. Because they were unfair. Anyway, yeah, where was I? Uh, yeah, Sekiro, uh, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Really, really good. Check it out. One of the best releases of the year so far. We also got Devil May Cry 5. Yep, it's back. Proper proper DMC. Um, I'll, I've not played too much of it yet. And I'm I'm really struggling. You know, getting time to play all these games. I just need a break. These games just keep flying out and... It's, I'm still I'm still trying to play some games from last year, but I'm what mission three, mission four, and it's good. It is damn good. I got it on PS4 actually. Um, I just, I just really want a physical copy. I don't really do tend to buy now on PC, but I, I, sometimes I just want a physical copy, you know. 
Um, but he's really good, really good. Glad to see proper Devil May Cry back. It's been a long time. And, uh, yeah, very impressed. I mean, this is shaping up to may even be the best one yet, you know. I mean, still got a long way to go, yeah, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, looks really good. Combat feels brilliant. Uh, great stories all over all the top. Um, Cutscenes. Uh, great soundtrack, just proper awesome Devil May Cry. Oh, I like it. Um, good stuff. I think this microphone's proper in the way, in it? But if I put it too low... I don't pick up my voice properly. So, the canvas has to. But yeah, uh, DMC5, brilliant. Uh, Sekiro, shout out to Ice, brilliant. Um, I've been playing Metro Exodus as well, trying to squeeze that in there. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Possibly, you know, it is. It is. It's the best um, Metro yet. They've done such a great job. Um, I was slightly worried because they were going for the. sort of opening it up, giving it a bit more of an open world feel, and. I've been getting pretty fed up now of open world games and there's this obsession with trying to make every game open world. I don't understand, not every game has to be open world, there's nothing wrong with games being linear. Some games have suited better to it, but I mean if you can get your open world right, obviously they can be amazing. Breath of the Wild, Witcher 3, two absolute masters of that genre, of you know, but a lot of devs just get them wrong. And they just end up being tedious and annoying, and just when you just fill it with collectibles, and you're just like, come on, really? Um, but no, um, they got it very, very right. It is a mix of open world and linear, and it works really well. And it still has got that metro feel. It's it's fantastic. Annoyingly, um, it's exclusive to the Epic Store, and I am not liking the Epic Store right now. Not a fan of Epic, and their uh, what, what? What's that? What's, what game is it? Epic. Have had. Is it Fortnite? Is that theirs? I get confused now with all these online games. I don't know what's what anymore. Who was Overwatch? Who was Epic? That's EA, isn't it? I think it's Fortnite. That's where they've made all the money from, isn't it? But yeah, I mean, I am absolutely not against them having some competition because they have needed it. But I do not like. Um, Epic's um, approach to stuff, they're just, you know, just this bullshit buying out all these, you know, games to be exclusive to their shit store, you know, and the way they did it with Metro was like a right last minute thing, people had already pre-ordered it on Steam and stuff and then phew, snatched away, um, they're doing it with a bunch of other games as well, and I wouldn't mind if, you know, they actually had a decent store, but it's such a basic pile of shite right now. You know, it's like, try and get people to come to your store because it's good. Because it offers better features than Steam and this, that, and the other. No, you've got nothing. So that's that's how they're getting people to come to their store, by just forcing people there because it's the only place you can get these certain games. And I do not like that at all. And Steam just don't seem to respond to it at the moment. You sort your shit out, Steam, come on. And But no, I'm not a fan of this uh, epic bullshit. Anyway, yeah, let's just... Um, Quickly, let's just quickly jump back to Capcom. I was talking about uh, Devil May Cry 5, but yeah, uh, Capcom have been doing really good lately, haven't they? Like, they've had quite a turnaround. They've been doing some good stuff. I mean, they gave us a surprisingly good game in Resident Evil 7, and I'd totally rip that thing off, but nope, I'm going to put my hands up. It was actually really good. Uh, Monster Hunter World was um, really good. And then they come back with a Resident Evil 2 remake. Again, I was kind of like, ugh, but no. It's really, really good. It is. It's really good. Best Resident Evil in a long time, and it's it's, it's proper Resident Evil. Uh, so yeah, great comeback for the Resident Evil series. And boom, then they've just dropped us the absolutely awesome Devil May Cry Five. So good stuff, Capcom. Keep it up, because I mean, there was a real long period of Capcom just being absolute wankers, weren't they? When they were just this weren't listening. The games they weren't having it they would just refuse to listen they were just like no 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 you shut up we'll decide what you want and they were just being clueless idiots and they, they had the dlc but remember weren't capcom the first ones to get caught with dlc on the disc dislock content i think they were uh, and they were just being arseholes were they refusing just sitting on their ips not using them and i remember um, they really pissed me off and well let's they absolutely destroyed resident evil 
It's one of the things I've always had a big grudge against them for. Um, but I remember one of the top, one of the top guys, uh, Capcom, not particularly exactly sure who, what his job position was. It was some, one of the big boys, and uh, what he said about, about about Resident Evil basically just becoming a complete crock of shit and being an action focused game and abandoning everything that made it what it was. I, he said something like, like the old school fans of Resident Evil, those of you who play Resident Evil back in the day, that we were too old now and have probably grown out of games. I mean, that, sta that, that statement right there sums up today's publishers. That's how they think. That's how clueless they are about games. And they don't, they don't know anything about games. They're not gamers. Probably never touch games in their life. They're just greedy businessmen. That sums it up, really, if you're out there, doesn't it? A stupid statement like that. We're too old and have probably grown out of games. What a knobhead. Like, what a stupid thing to say. Really. That's the day's publisher sphere. That's how they think. Um, but yeah, good stuff by um, by uh, Capcom. Oh yeah, and uh, one other thing as well before I um, forget. Uh, I forgot its name. Um, Google's thing. Google's new venture into gaming, which I'm not happy about. I don't just... Google just need to fuck off. Stop trying to get your fingers in all the pies. You know, just... Such a greedy sack of shit. I mean, look what they did. Look what they've done to YouTube. This platform is a disgrace. I just think, I just like, what the fuck? I've been on YouTube since since day one. I opened the account. I opened this account in 2006. But I was coming to it in time and watching the very first video. I have seen YouTube since day one. I have seen from what it was to what it is now. And it's absolutely shocking. It's a disgrace. And I've been nearly eight years of making gameplay videos, nearly eight years, been around for a long time, not much to show for it, <laughs> oh well, uh, but yeah, they, they've got this whole, this new streaming, I've, I've totally forgot its name, but I don't give a shit to be honest with you, um, I think it's the future of gaming, really, so you'll basically be streaming, I don't fully understand how it works, I don't understand the technology, but there's no sort of console or device, it's all with the internet, it's all reliant on your internet connection, so you could like play games on your TV or any other sort of smart device or something like that. You basically stream your games. It's all about your internet connection. And I don't like it. That's stupid. I want no part of that. I just want consoles. Just let's keep it traditional. I want to own my games. Obviously with this you're not going to own any of your games. I don't know how it's going to work. Are you just renting games? Is a subscription service? I'm, it sounds fucking awful to me. And I, I just don't think people are ready for it. I just don't think, on average, most people have the internet for it. I, I think it's a bit too ahead of its time, really. I, I, I don't see it being a big hit right now. I just don't think everyone's ready for it. I like to think most people don't want it. You know, if this, if this is the, if this is the death of the traditional consoles, then I'm out. I'm done. I ain't having no part in the future of gaming. But no, I don't like it. Don't like it at all. Um, I, I still don't fully understand it. I just I see so many issues, so many problems. No, don't like it. Don't fucking like it at all. Shove up your ass, Google. Shove it up your ass. But yeah, I think that's it. There probably was some other stuff, but I forgot. I should really write stuff down. This is my problem. But this was just a quick. But we'll switch on the camera and just blech, just start spouting shit. So yeah, I do like doing these videos. They're fun. Just easy to do. Just just switch on a camera and talk about games. I could do this all day. I'm a rambling idiot. But um yeah, we'll we'll end it there. This has been a bit too long. But uh I'll try my best to um pop up next week again. Maybe I can't make any promise I'm not gonna. It depends if I've got time. But we'll see what happens. We will see. But uh anyway, thanks for watching guys and uh I'll see you soon.